In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to take your Figma designs and integrate them directly into the Shopify store, step by step. So, first of all, I'd like to understand what exactly is the Figma. The Figma is a powerful tool for creating custom designs, and when you connect them to Shopify, it lets you turn those designs into a live store front, giving you brand and unique look without complex of uh, the coding. So, to get started, of course, you'll need a Shopify theme key, which allows you to upload your Figma designs to Shopify. You can install it using the Shopify C uh, L1 or download directly from the Shopify website. So this tool is going to be letting us sync our Shopify store with local files for easy design updates. Alright, so let's get started first of all to uh, how to export individual designs component from the Figma. So let's head directly here into Figma. And once you are directly here into Figma, I'm going to go to uh, sign in. And once I am signed in, I'm going to choose my account to have access to my Figma uh, designs. Now that I have access into my Figmist elements, I can get started with a new file design. I have a visual portfolio template, um, untitled stuff, new Figma boards, and much more. So here, what I need to do, of course, is to export assets like the logos, I can export product images, I can export banners, and SVG, PNG, or GPG files depending on your design needs. So let's say that here I have this one design visual portfolio. I double click in it, and here is my Figma edition, or in this case, a template of my portfolio. So as you can see, here is all about in one place, about yourself. So what I can do is to show this prototype and download this process. I'm going to head over to my design and into the upper side, let's go and click into the logo of Figma, file and export. Here into export, I choose one selected. So I have to select one layer, of course, in order to have this export of them. So I select my layer and down here, I have one PNG, uh, JPG, SBJ and whatever. So I can choose, for example, this file and export two layers. And here is a zip file already been downloaded. Once you have designed as it exported, it's crucial to stay organized. So group your images, icons, and other assets into folders such as images and assets. So this makes it easier to upload and manage them directly into the Shopify. So usually this zip file is going to be having uh, this information by itself, but you can just organize them manually. So here have the accordion sliced. So this one is part of one element block, so you might want to change that title later. Now. Next, you need to connect the Shopify theme key to the store. So you'll do this by entering your store credentials. Now the Figma should be asking me to run the instant builder inside the Shopify. So in the app store, I go for instant builder. So here's a free version of it. I go for install, make sure this one is developed by the instant commerce and sign in with my account. Exactly the same account that you have here into Shopify. I'm going to hit connect with Shopify. And now we are inside the instant section there. Now I can upload my assets with the file that we have just downloaded and they will all be appearing here. Now to add this element into my Shopify, I'm going to publish this and enable this into Shopify. So let's hit now and back into the Shopify editor. This one, of course, could be sending us automatically into the Shopify editor. And you might be seeing that we have a common builder just like so. So make sure that here we are into app and beams and enable the instant and beam. Then hit back into save. And there we go. Now what we can do is to look out for the section which you like to add. And if you scroll here into the home page and add a new section, you can see that we have an instant section here. Of course, the element that we have just added from the Figma. And of course, what we can do is to edit the section that we do have here. So I don't want to focus a lot into the information. I want to focus into what matters about, which is the actual template. And I import it directly here in the instant section. So um, I'm going to hit now to save. And here is, you can see that here we have created something from the actual Figma and we send it directly into the store. So we go here for view and my design has now been created automatically. And there we go. Really easily process how we can integrate directly the Figma with the Shopify. So guys, 
Um, if this video helped, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure that you have the free version if you want to have limited information here into the Figma. If you want to have more than uh, just limited files, I can totally suggest you to look out for more projects in order to have access to more boards, to more uh, files, more projects, and much more here into Figma. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can see you next time.